what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys i got a special recommendation to check out uh this channel from this young lady uh i believe kelly laos killjoy kelly let me see i, I think it yeah Luis laos i don't know I don't, I don't know that middle name but we're just gonna say kelly killjoy so we're about to check this out danish stereotypes at least from her point of view now this is eight years ago but some of this stuff can still be valid it can still be valid out here so y'all let me know finna jump into this hit that subscribe button check it out i'm actually a little bit tipsy right now because i i reshooted that shot thing a couple of times <laughs> and i haven't had any dinner yet so yeah <laughs> uh-oh Hey there beautiful faces! Today's video is going to be about the Danish stereotypes and whether I find them true or not, because my opinion matters. I have asked my foreign friends and contacts the question, how does your country define the Danish stereotype? Um, and have also been using the Google machine, because <laughs> Google is your friend. Anyway, this is what I found. Cheap shots in Denmark taste like mouthwash. Not mouthwash. <laughs> Cheers. She said, let me see. Let me try it. Let's, see. Let's try another. <laughs> Dang. Double cheers. Not the brown stuff. Yep. I'm out wide. Pretty much. <laughs> Babies are left alone in cars and carriages. It Not is cars. very common for mothers to leave their sleeping children outside in their carriages. Let's be honest. No one's going to steal pictures like us. Everyone in Denmark. Hey, <laughs> the... The car, th I don't think the car, I don't think it's cars, but the carriages I've seen, you know, that's like, that's very common. That's very, but I mean, I don't know about the car because I don't see too many people drive, I, at least the videos I've seen, I don't see too many people drive in Europe. Carriages, let's be honest, no one's gonna steal pictures like us. Everyone in Denmark is so good looking. Oh, stop. <laughs> Cyclists bump into you every time you turn a corner in Denmark. That one is fucking true. Yeah. <laughs> we have cycle paths everywhere in Denmark oh. and even more in the cities. And I'm almost positive that Danish cyclists are more dangerous than Danish motorists. They can <laughs> fucking kill you. The cyclist. Death by bike. <laughs> no one ever crosses the red traffic lights, not even when there's no cars. <laughs> I think everybody oh does God, that. That's so true. Every time I'm trying. I, I'm surprised people still wait here. What? If they don't see no cars coming, we caught we crossing the street. We did most times people don't even go to the you know little walking sign, little thing to walk walk across the street too. We not even walking on the walking path. You just cross the street when you don't see a car coming. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> Every time I'm traveling, I catch myself being the only one standing on the sidewalk I'm waiting <laughs> for the red light to turn to green like there's no cars but i just prefer to wait for the light to switch to green then everything is in order i actually don't know why maybe it's a rule in denmark whereas it's just a guideline in another country <laughs> i don't know all danish girls wear black only black <laughs> i'm a girl I personally <laughs> don't like wearing all black, like, you know, black shirt, black pants, black shoes, black jacket, um, everything black. It's okay with the little black dress, that's fine. But I don't like wearing a whole put together black outfit, outfit. Yeah. when it's all black. But I do agree that a lot of Danish people do that, not just girls. But do we really wear more black than other countries? I don't know. Uh, the Danes only eat hot dogs. <laughs> hot dog. I wish. I ain't never seen a Danish hot dog. To be honest, that I think I ain't never seen a hot dog in you know in Denmark. What type of hot dog y'all got? People are quiet in the public transportation systems in Denmark. Yeah. No way. If you talk to a stranger in, for example, a bus, the person will most likely think one of these three different things. One, this person is talking to me. This person is talking to me. 
quickly, listen to what he has to say. Oh my god. Before you forget, don't act surprised. <laughs> Two, this person might be crazy. <laughs> Is he crazy? Maybe he's not from around here. Nah, I think he's crazy. <laughs> and three, if I point to my ear and shake my head, this person might think I'm deaf and then leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, all jokes aside, my, oh my theory gosh. on this thing is that Danish people are, in general, very respectful to mm. other people's privacy. Like, they don't like to get involved with other people's oh, no. business. And Come on now, I might have a little Danish in me, because that's definitely how I am. You can't... Especially here in the States, people, people will tell you they life story. I'm telling you, it'll be a total stranger. They they finna tell me how, you know, how work is going and everything, you know. Even though I didn't ask, but yeah, I try to be nice and lend a helping ear. That's what I try to do, you know. I'm a nice guy out here. But most times, I just, I just let people talk and just listen, you know. Especially if you don't want to dive into too much conversation and find yourself standing there. You realize you didn't talk to somebody, a stranger for an hour. Sometimes you just got to be like, yep, yep, uh, oh, dang, yep, mm-hmm, yep, definitely understand, yep, yep, mm, yep, that's my, that's my go-to, yep, 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 oh, yeah, or sometimes I got to give that, oh, <laughs> that laugh, you know what I'm saying, but I, I do try to lend that listening ear, that's what I do try to do, you know, I don't like to give people unwanted advice, but I listen to you. I let you spit it out, you know. Therefore, they don't expect other people to get involved in theirs. So mm. when we don't go out to socialize, then we just like to mind our own business and let other people carry on with their own business. And then we leave each other alone. But when we do go out to socialize, we are actually very open-minded people. Mm. Danish people dislike people from Greenland. Not Greenland. What? No way! They have seals! <laughs> and Santa. They Santa. are hot drinkers. She's gonna no, take it. Really. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, dang! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. We can drink a lot. And we actually do drink a lot from a very early age. But it's not like we're all alcoholics. <laughs> we just have different rules here. Danish people swear a lot. Fuck no! They Dang. eat potatoes almost every Not day. Not potatoes. <laughs> She's like, "Dang, that's what was on my dinner menu tonight." Now that I think about it. We actually do eat a lot of potatoes <laughs> to everything, but I kind of thought that was normal. Is it not? Everything I know is. I don't know. Now that I think about it, I eat potatoes, but we be eating potatoes a lot too. Especially, I used to always buy a bag of potatoes. When I go grocery shop, I always bought a bag of potatoes. I just thought about that. I eat a lot of potatoes, too. But them homemade mashed potatoes be hitting different, though. Sometimes, I found a brand, though, I can buy in the store, but... I gotta have mashed potatoes as a side, a baked potato, or something. I like mashed potatoes. That's my go-to side right there. The Danes are the happiest people in the world. Aha! Uh -huh. Here comes two theories <laughs> We have a very uh -huh. realistic mindset in Denmark. We don't set our goals unrealistically high, which is why we have the satisfaction of reaching our goals more often than others might have. Mm. This could have something to do with the ancient mindset we have called the law of Yante. An example of this might be that if a little boy yelled out loud that he wanted to become an astronaut in Denmark, people <laughs> would most likely tell him that boy, you ain't gonna it be, be no extremely difficult oh, to yeah. become rather than just say it. Which is true. Uh... I feel like, especially as kids, I, working with kids, they tell you they want to be like 20 different things. I'm like, whoa, whoa, first of all, you don't want these adult problems because, you know, peak one. But it's like you really do got to be working towards it. Like, I feel like here in the States, we're not realistic with kids because I had kids tell me they want to go to the NBA, NFL, and all that stuff. But then they tell me they don't even play football. They don't play basketball. So I'll be like, well, you can't get there until you play. Like, you can't play for fun and think you're going to get there. Like, these are people's real jobs out here. That it will be but an astronaut, 
It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a long journey. You know what I'm saying? Extremely difficult to become rather than just saying, yeah, you go. You can do that. On everything. Be real. Gotta be real. We just set our goals much lower in the first place. And by doing that, we also avoid the huge disappointment of not reaching our goals. Yeah, and that's then we worse. Can discuss <laughs> if this is a good or a bad thing or both. And then we have my most legit theory, as I've said before. It is because of. Remolil. Danish people what? have long gnomes. Long, long gnomes. 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 Long gnomes. Long gnomes. She said gay gnomes. 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 <laughs> long gnomes. gnomes. No, I don't think so. Wait. Do these count? What? No. Danish what? people love licorice. There licorice. is freaking licorice everywhere and in everything. <laughs> now, everything. I'm a big fan of licorice myself, but I know that everyone else is. Please. Get the hell out of my chocolate! But I do like a sweet licorice. People in Denmark <laughs> drink a lot of beer. Again, without making a sound like alcoholics, beer is a very common cold beverage in Denmark. It is completely normal here to enjoy a cold beer together with your dinner or just when you get home from work, even if it is almost every day. You're right. People don't really date in Denmark. No, that's true. Oh. We don't really ask each other out on dates to get to know each other in Denmark. We don't really have that dating culture here. Here it's just forever complicated to date. They're all tall and blonde in Denmark. <laughs> nope. We do also have short brunettes. I'm talking to you, Michelle. <laughs> that was it for my video, guys. Oh my God. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Subscribe to me if you want more because I really hope to see your be a beautiful face in my next video. Yep, that's right. Jim Carrey taught me to spell beautiful. Bye! I like Jim Carrey. Fuck yeah. <laughs> nah, she's funny. She's funny. She got a good sense of humor. This was good. This was good. Okay, Dan Denmark, you know, we got some more stereotypes. Y'all gotta let me know. I know this video she did eight years ago, but some of these still sound like, you know, they still kind of stand here today, you know? A lot, it, even though it's been a long time, a lot doesn't change. There's certain things that changes a lot, but a lot doesn't change. If you caught the drift there, if, you, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. But no, all in all, yeah, you know, dang. Some of these, shoot, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be doing them. I might need to do an American stereotype video, because I'll be doing some of these. I ain't gonna lie to you. I definitely eat potatoes. Um, I'll be telling kids to be realistic with their dreams. So, you know, I might have 1% Denmark in me, Danish in me, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to think I have, I have a little bit of uh, European in me. I probably do. I probably do. I don't know. I don't know. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. Give this video a thumbs up. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.